Got another question on the aromatic chemistry topic. So as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you wanted to try it first. So part A, you can see from reaction three, when you take ethanoic anhydride and react it with phenol, you get this phenyl ester. So this is phenyl ethanoate. Obviously you make um, ethanoic acid as well. So if we take this phenol, which has got the carboxylic acid group on the adjacent carbon, you're gonna make aspirin. Moving on to part B, so if you take information from reaction two, you can see that when ethanoic anhydride reacts with four amino phenol, you are gonna make paracetamol and ethanoic acid. Moving on to this impurity, so you can see I've written up the molecular formula of paracetamol, and I'm gonna compare that molecular formula with the impurities molecular formula. So you can see we've gone up by two carbons, two hydrogens, and an oxygen. So effectively, if we take one of these hydrogens off and replace it with a CH3CO group, we're actually gonna go to that new molecular formula. So in terms of structure for the impurity, you could have either gone for this one here or this one here. And for the next part, why it's necessary for pharmaceutical companies to ensure that drugs and medicines are pure, one of these would be fine. So to ensure there are no harmful side effects, impurities reduce the effectiveness of the drug, or suppose this is linked to this one, impurities may be toxic. Moving on to the functional groups in aspirin and paracetamol. So you can see I've color coded them. So aspirin has the ester functional group and the carboxylic acid functional group. Paracetamol has an amide functional group. It's actually a secondary amide, but that wasn't required. And a phenol group. Next part, now there's several answers you can give here. I've gone for the sort of most straightforward one. So you could either react um, aspirin and paracetamol with sodium hydroxide or sodium. Both of those would make these two products here. So all that's happening is we're replacing the um, H plus ion of the carboxylic acid group and the hydroxyl group in phenol with a sodium ion and we're creating a salt. Reagent B, that only reacts with aspirin. So just a reminder there, carboxylic acids react with carbonates, phenols don't. So if you react um, aspirin with sodium carbonate, you're gonna get the sodium salt again. And finally, reagent C that only reacts with paracetamol, the answer was bromine, and you could either do what I've done and just put one bromine on here, you could put it anywhere on the ring actually, or you could have put multiple bromines on if you'd wanted to.